Point, you're going to spin baseline and go score. If he digs on you, you have two options. You can retreat, or you can attack his dig over the top and use him as a screen on your defense. That's kind of like a show in a pick. You know what I mean? Rip. 
You're gonna tap through. Tap the ball back. Do any right hand move. Keep in your right hand. There you go. There you go. And then throw the ball through and you finish. Shot a lot of shots today. Probably shot, I don't know, 1,200 shots in two sessions, maybe? Yeah, at least. Floaters, form shots, threes, probably 1,200 shots. It's good. Um, I think the first thing that jumps out at most people, and including myself, the first time I saw Greg play was his, his athleticism. Um, and it's his overall athleticism. Um, 
like not just his jumping, his, his speed, lateral quickness, his uh, ability to contort his body, twist, um, his coordination. Um, but the thing that people don't know is he has a really fast learning curve, especially for skills. And uh, when you give him something, he, he, he catches onto it real quickly and then he can like employ it in a game um, at a pretty quick rate, faster than most people. He's kind of like the prototype player for the new generation. Um, he can guard one through five. Uh, he's stronger than people, than people know because he's wiry and powerful. Um, he shoots it better than people know. He handles it better than people know. I think everybody knows he can score around the rim and play power forward, pick and roll, um, run the court in transition, finish in transition. Um, he can like finish off the catch. He can finish off the bounce. Uh, he's still learning the game and he's still like uh, kind of understanding some of the nuances of spacing and, and some of the IQ things. Um, as he gets into college and they're better at teaching those things, I think he's going to be a factor all over the court and that's going to be what really separates him at the next level.